In this video I'm going to show you, how to use the various rail extensions for the top rail. Create a railing, make the sketch line exactly as long as the stair. Pick the stair as host for the railing. Move the railing 3 inches away from the wall. Use the offset from path input field. At the bottom of the stair, the railing is too high. It is 3 feet high to the top of the first riser, and not to the landing. The railing needs to be extended by one tread depth. This can be done in the type properties of the top rail. Copy the railing type and give it a new name. Then click the top rail type, which is a separate type within the railing type. Copy the top rail type too and give it a new name. Check the option for, plus tread depth. Now let's add the horizontal extensions, which are required by code to be 1 foot. Copy the railing type and top rail type as you did before. Type in 1 foot for the length of the horizontal extensions. You also can define the extension style. Let's first try the options, floor and post. As you can see the bottom one is the floor option, the top one is the post option. The wall option is a bit tricky. It doesn't work with the offset from path parameter. Set from path parameter to zero. Use the hand clearance parameter of the top rail type parameters instead. Then the railing looks like this. If you have a suggestion for a new Revit tips and tricks video, please let me know in the comments section. Please subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss my next video. Thank you for watching.